Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So the situation basically hasn't changed much since yesterday. Um, however, Ether has sold off a little more, shows a little bit of weakness and really should ideally stay above 2540. But I see this scenario already as less likely now because we've already touched the golden ratio level there, the 61.8 retracement, but it's still a valid option. What happened here? So. The overall idea is by, um, on the ETH chart that obviously um, a wave two completed here on the 3rd of January after on the 9th of December, the wave one finished, a one, two setup. We basically now following that idea in a third wave rally that can take us to $3,500 plus. However, to confirm that this wave two is really over, the market needs to give us five waves to the upside. At the moment, we only have three with this peak that formed on Friday. Then Ether followed Bitcoin with quite a substantial sell-off, or at least quite a direct and rapid one, into a support area in which the price then also held support. Okay, so the price is respecting these levels, especially here the 38.2 retracement level at 2485. This would be in the bullish scenario a way for pullback. In a way for pullback, we would like to see the price hold support above 2360. Better would be 2421 because any break below that would indicate a lot of weakness. So this level ideally holds, okay? And the fifth wave would start from there. Once we have five waves complete, it would add, let's say, um, it would confirm further that this wave two here finished. Now, if we see a break below 2360 and it already starts below 2421 then we have to assume that this wave 2 that presumably finished on the 3rd of January that it never finished and it will just be reset so that wouldn't be a major problem it might just lead to a marginally lower low below the orange support box because this support box is relevant for a wave 4 below that level however it's likely the wave 2 but because the wave B in wave 2 in the alternative count did overshoot so much and it's so high, the C wave might only reach round about $2,200. So it might just literally be a minor lower low or a marginally lower low and then a reaction. That's what I'm observing here. In the very short term, I'm observing if wave four is finished. Um, there are a few few possibilities. I, you know, I'll take the entire count. It's The problem is with micro counts in corrections, they change a lot. So I always I put them on sometimes, sometimes I, I leave them off as, as long as I can because um, they are not to be seen really as predictive. But there is a reasonable assumption we can make to say that the wave five, obviously, because it's a diagonal, would need to be a three wave move, A, B, C, A, B, C. And then this is not long enough, likely going to be, for all of wave five. So the idea is, okay, it would then have to be a larger A, a B and a C. So we have A, B, C and A, then a B and a C. Um, within this first A, B, C structure, the C wave could be an ending diagonal. We explored that yesterday. Wave one is fine, wave two is fine, wave three, fine, reached the perfect length. However, the wave four is very deep now, already nearly breaking below the golden ratio level. So at the moment, I'm gonna leave that on the chart, but a break below 2,542 will likely mean that uh, it's falling back into the waveform. Invalidation point for this particular scenario, I mean, this is the ideal micro support level. The overall larger box is still relevant, of course, but below the, what is it, 2,499 level, this scenario is invalidated, and yeah, wave four is likely falling back into the larger support box, might then test 2,421 next. So that's all I can say, really. I've also added a resistance area to the chart, by the way, a Fibonacci resistance area that shows which levels need to be overcome. So the next resistance could be, so obviously the last high at $2,614, but also the $2,658 level, which is the high above the 78.6 retrace level of the decline. That needs to be overcome as well in order to be rallying um, in wave five. So I think the levels are clear. Um, it's always going to be messy in these corrections. Wave 4 corrections just are messy and difficult. That's what they are. So we're still tracking it. 
Let's see if um, Ether can hold support. And if not, it might just mean a larger um, decline, but a marginally lower low within wave two, within an alternative wave two. That's my update about ETH. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.